How's it going everybody? It's Aparicio and today what we're going to be doing is a classic teal and orange look in DaVinci Resolve. Now this look is probably used the most or whether it be movies or TV shows. Everybody should know how to do teal and orange. Today we're going to do it with the fundamentals very simply and I'm just going to show you that um, a little bit goes a long way. I like to be really subtle. We want it to look natural. We don't want people to be thinking about the grade. We want people to look and feel. If you see right here, we have a color wheel. So you see the orange, yellow, red, orange, and red, and then you see the blue, teal, cyan, and green down here. So that's why this is just a look to behold, a look you want to use, right? So this is my shot, okay? I'm sorry that I look so serious in this shot. This is supposed to be for a dramatic film that I was thinking of in my mind, I think I sold it. And by the way, the shot is in the description that you see here. Go ahead and download that and follow along. As you can see, I already did my color space transform, so I'm going to click on this. And if you look, I, I used a uh, Panasonic GH6, this is 4K, and I did my input color space, my input gamma, my output color space. Um, if you don't know how to do color space transform, there's YouTube videos that are specifically about color space transform and they will be able to explain it a lot better. There's a lot of color science to do with it, color management, that would be a whole different video. We have our shot here, so let's turn off our color space transform. And you can see it's log footage and then now we convert it to Rec 709 and now we get into our color correction so we can give it a nice teal and orange look. So let's just correct the shot and let's just make the shot very uh, neutral correct looking kind of with with the eye the human eye would see to be cinematic i'm gonna bring our highlights around seven six eight as you can see here on our scopes and i'm gonna kind of crush the shadows a little bit and bring them down to pretty much touching zero don't be afraid to absolutely crush your shadows guys if you're going for that crushed shadow look then go for that look i'm gonna bring down our midtones just a little bit and this will give me a good space to play with in my next node. So I'm going to go ahead and label this node Pry for primaries. All right, so that's our first node. Let's go to our second node. You can click Alt S and it'll add another node or you can right click, go to add node and add a uh, serial. So we added another node and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to curves, guys. People, everybody, we're going to go to curves. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm just gonna kind of crush those midtones and shadows. Remember, don't be afraid to let your shadows be shadows. And then we're gonna come up here to like our upper midtones and bring them back up to like seven, six, eight. All right, put the shadows up a little bit more. Now it's looking, this is a very saturated looking image now, but we're done with the curve. So let's label this node curves, okay? And then let's add another node and let's just white balance, make sure this is all balanced and ready to grade. I'm gonna go to my vector scope. So it seems like I have to push this towards the red, so let me do that. Seems about balanced to me. I'm gonna go back to the primaries. I'm just gonna bring my saturation to 45 to give it a more uh, neutral look. So now let's go ahead and hit Alt S, create another serial, and I'm going to label this look. So you can see here, my skin is already orange, all right? So we have our orange. The background is, you know, it looks neutral. The whites are white and the, the walls have a little bit of blue in it. So we're just going to kind of make it more prominent and dramatic for the background. So let's create our look. So we're doing a teal and orange. So we're gonna go to offset, just bring it down towards the teal. Ooh, look at that. Look how the mood just changed. Let's be more dramatic. Let's get crazy. All right, let's get crazy here. Let's go down more. All right, now we're in the world of Ozark right now. Let's just go ahead and take the uh, little bit of teal out of the skin and shadows and we're going to do that in the lift over here on the primaries the skin tones are mostly in the shadows in the shot so let's go bring this up towards the red just a little bit because if you do that too much you're going to get a nasty looking red all over the image you just have to be super subtle with the lift because look if you go up even a, a little bit more this is what happens to the picture 
you, you want this to happen? You don't want this to happen. So we're going to reset, do it again, go up a little bit. Boom, that's it. So now we're going to go off on with our look. And look at that. The mood just changed. Now we've gotten a bit more dramatic, right? So now I'm going to go back to the curves a little bit. And I'm just going to raise up our, I think our blacks are getting kind of crazy here. Let me I just lift it up. Okay, go back to our look. And then right click, go to add node. Let's add a parallel node. Why not? Okay, we're going to label this skin. And what I'm going to do is go to the skin. Let's go in on the skin. All right, we're going to go to hue versus sat. I'm going to highlight the skin. And let's just, let's calm it down a little bit. All right, so let's bring it down. Remember, hue versus sat is just the saturation of whatever color you select. So I calm my skin down. Here we are. All right, so now... How can I make the shot more interesting? We kind of have a teal and an orange shot going here. So there's still a little bit more adjustments you want to make in order to make this shot more interesting. And we can add a power window. Go ahead and add it. And put the middle point on the highlight of our skin, wherever the main light is hitting our skin. Let's see what we're doing here. Okay, and then we're going to want to invert it. There we go, click off the highlight, and come here, click off that, uh, that window. And now we're just gonna bring our uh, gain down a little bit, and our gamma down a little bit. Okay, now the shot is a little bit more focused in on me, on my face. Power windows, we'll label that. And then I'm gonna do another thing. We're gonna add a parallel node and I'm just gonna add a gradient right at the bottom. Very soft gradient, very soft. And then we're gonna get the end of it, kinda. Put it at the bottom and just kinda bring the, the highlights and the midtones down there. And now we're just kinda focusing it more up in this corner here. All right, so honestly, it's looking pretty nice. You know, we have a natural kind of teal and orange look with the whites not being too blown towards teal. And then the the shadows are clean. Zoom into the shadows, look how clean the shadows are. So this is kind of looking like a natural teal and orange. To make our, our talent pop more, let's create a node and let's label this uh, face. Put a power window over the face. And just keep in mind to never like make this the face just too like orange when you're doing the teal and orange to where it's like looks too separated from the world around it because then it looks unnatural to me. I don't know, that's just me. All right, so we're in on the face. And then we're gonna go to our log wheels, the shadows. Go ahead and bring that down. And the midtones kind of lift up. Because the midtones will kind of be this little highlight rim light on the back of me here. And then the, the shadows are in the middle here. And then we have our highlights. So we have like three shades. So you want those shades to be very separated to give our uh, my face a nice pop and a nice contrast. And then I like to give this shot a nice vignette put the size all the way up and make it subtle so we're gonna put it in there a little bit and then add another cereal put some film grain because as you know I know we all know we, we shot on digital probably 35 millimeter and I like to increase the grain size with the opacity down and now our shot is looking very sleek very uh, tangible okay so let's go before the film grain in the vignette add another node and we'll call it curves 2 now I like to make final adjustments in the curves so let's see what we can do we're gonna let our shadows be shadows we can lift right here the absolute darkest points up a little bit and then let's go ahead and bring our shadows down 
and then raise our midtones a little bit. Our highlights are already pretty lifted. To me, this shot is a little too saturated. I'm gonna go to our primaries and I'm just gonna start. Let's bring the saturation down like crazy. We're gonna creep our way up back to where we feel comfortable with it. I like it around there. Now nah, let's go a little bit more. And then I'm gonna bring my shadows up a little bit more. Let's go before and after. Night and day. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe for videos that go over things in the DaVinci Fusion page and the DaVinci Color page and the editing page as well. Uh, but this is a very basic way, a very basic node structure to get to the teal and orange look. We didn't really do anything that would break the shot. In future videos, I'm probably going to use the curves to get my grade how I want it. Instead of the primary wheels, we'll be using the curves. If you have any questions or topics you would like me to cover, leave it in the comments, guys. That's it. I'm out. We're done. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm leaving now. See you guys.